Hello everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to another card in the holiday card series. Today I'm making another card using the Heffy Doodle Elfish Antics. So I made a card earlier this week using the little female elf with the stamp set called Yappy Happy Mail to create a really cute card that I thought would be adorable for crafty friends. I will link that above in case you missed it. Today I wanted to do a scene card using the Elfish Antics stamp set. This stamp set was sent to me by Heffy Doodle, so thank you Heffy Doodle. I had a lot of fun playing with this stamp set and I love how this little scene turned out. So for this one I'm using a combination of traditional Christmas colors, so red and green, but I'm also going to bring in some blues and yellows just to make the toys come to life. So I'm showing you here, I colored all of the green the same color combination and same with the red, so there was consistency throughout the card. So for the red today, I'm using R39, R29, and R24. It's a bright Christmas red. I love the R39 just to give a little bit of dark shadowing. So for the yellow, I'm using Y15, Y13, and Y11, and I'm coloring this little elf up like my favorite Christmas elf. If you like Elf the movie, this was my inspiration for coloring up the little boy elf here. So I'm doing all of the skin tones. I'm doing a very light skin tone for the elves. I'm using E11, E00, and then R20 for the cheeks. For the hair, I'm giving them kind of like a dirty blonde color. So I'm using Y17, Y15, and then I'm bringing in some E23 just to give a little bit of a darker color to the blonde. I wanted to keep their hair the same color just for consistency again. So here is the blue combination that I'm using. I'm using B04, B02, and B00. This gives just a nice bright blue color. I'm going to color up the little base of the elf toy and then the train and the train cars in the blue. Now after I was done all my coloring, I decided to add in the little controller from the stamp set. You'll see that here in a bit, but I did color it off screen because I wanted to tie in all of the colors. And the way that I ended up making the scene, I thought it would be cute for him to be holding that little controller. And you'll see how that comes together as I build the scene. So I'm just adding in some darker gray here to make it look black. I didn't know what color I wanted to accent the train in, but I decided to keep the colors consistent, so I went back to my yellow shades, decided to darken up the pants on the elf a little bit there, and the rest of the spots that were yellow. For the gift, I'm going to do a yellow bow, and then I'm going to color the package itself in green. I am going to do some white gel detailing just to add some pattern on that. You'll see that coming up in a bit here. So I pretty much have this all done. Just the last little details. I wanted to have his shoes a little bit darker. Same with the wheels on the train. So I just brought my, I think it was the C5, back in just to darken that up a little. So now I'm just adding some shading to the white and here's where I'm bringing in the white gel pen. So I'm going to add some polka dots to the present and then some highlights on all of the little characters and additional elements including the toys. I did give them three dots on their cheeks on the little elf toy as well as the little girl and little boy elf. So once I get these finished I will cut them out using my brother scan and cut. I'm using the new Doodlebug paper pad. I think this is called Christmas, what's it called? Did I write it down? Christmas Town. I loved this stripe pattern paper for this card. It went perfectly with the colors I chose. So I'm using that as the background and then I just cut out 
a rectangle with some 110 pound cardstock. I did use the stitch rectangle die to cut both the back panel and then the white panel that I'm using in front of the paper. So I'm going to adhere my elements down here. I'm trying to get the train over as far as I can so everything will fit on the panel to make my scene. I'm going to add the little cars or whatever you would call them for the back of the train. I did cut off one side of the little black thing that connects those cars for the ones that were in fact connecting and then at the end of this last one here so it looked like it was meant to be that way. I'm going to position the little boy elf on top of the train car. Kids, if you're watching, do not try this at home. It's not safe. But the little elves are playing in Santa's workshop, so it works perfectly for a card, but not in real life. So here you can see is where I colored the controller. So I colored it blue to bring another pop of blue into the card, and then the little controls in green, yellow, and red, sort of like, I was thinking like a traffic light, so green for go, yellow for kind of slow down, and red for stop or off. So now I'm just getting the rest of the elements on the card. I have it pictured so the little girl elf is perhaps giving this present to the little boy elf. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I'm using have some fun. It's Christmas. I'm just going to stamp that right on to the card panel and then to finish it off to fill in that gap I added the little stocking in his other hand. For the inside of the card I stamped the sentiment be a little naughty and then I am going to add some detail here. So I'm using my Nouveau in the white color just to add some puffiness to her dress and the stocking to make it look like it's fluffy. I'm also going to bring in the morning dew which is almost like a glossy accents and I'm going to add that to the train window and the little controller pieces on the handheld controller he has. Adding some sparkle here with my Wink of Stella. I haven't pulled this out in a long time. I've been using my Spectrum Noir glitter brush marker, but I liked this one for this card because it's got a little bit of gold glitter in it, which I think is perfect for Christmas. So here's where I'm adding the Morning Dew Nouveau Drops. Just adding some gloss to his belt and his shoes. It really makes the the little buttons on the control panel panel here really pop out. I'm going to add it to the star on this little, what do you call these? Jack in the box? I guess it's an elf in the box. And the card is done. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you soon in the next holiday card video. Take care. Bye.